Tanqua Artscape 2023. So I actually come from KwaZulu Natal, which is a long, long way away from here. Um, and it's significant to say that because, particularly in the in the the recent past, I've kind of felt how long it is. I've often felt like I'm on a long journey away, and I'm experiencing this away from my own sort of community up there in the KwaZulu Natal Midlands. I've also lived on the same property in the Midlands for 28 years now, which is very special. It's special to be on one place for 28 years. You get a lot of rooted, rootedness. And um, but yeah, coming down to the Tankwa has been yeah, it's been a, it's been a beautiful way to get away and get perspective. Um, at home, I ran a quite a big commercial bronze casting foundry for 28 years, which I stopped. A few years ago and reinventing myself in a way I'm becoming more of a farmer a vegetable gardening gardening farmer and looking a little bit more deeply into my own creativity and artwork which I already did start to um, resuscitate about 12 years ago because I'm actually a land artist and that's really how I got into the Tankwa Artscape is that I, I came here to the festival that was held on this property, Africa Burn. So you are now moving already into my second question. This would have been my second question. Okay. What is your relation here to the Tankwa Artscape? Yeah, so, so I came here in 2011 just I had a few people that said, oh, you've got to go, you've got to go to this place. And uh, I'm. it's not really that I'm interested that much in the festival or in the party. It's when I came here, I just was like a kid in a candy store. It was like, wow, you mean we can build freely here? Um, and and the challenge of, of building here too, you, you, there's no hardware shops, you know, a kilometer away. You have to organize yourself. You have to be prepared. And I definitely saw the kind of work that I do, which is working with sort of quite big architectural shapes, weaving with wattle. I saw that this was the perfect place because it's so flat here. So anything you do is visible. Yeah, so I came here and did about six years here and got to know JP very well, one of the owners of the property and um, started to talk about the idea of something like what we are now finding ourselves in. Um, we did a global, nom I, I sort of hosted a global nomadic art project here, a South Korean initiative. Lely was part of that, and I think the rest is history because, yeah, Lely and myself and JP at that point knew that there was something possible here. There's a magic here, and yeah, six years down the line, we're... How would you describe how you see your connection to your art to this place here? I think it's changed. I think it's it's changed. Initially, I personally wanted to just dot my art all over this landscape. My art is quite gentle. It's it's I work with wood and with woven sticks and so it is gentle on the eye, but I think very very quickly uh, I realized that this landscape cannot handle too much of that. And and the Tankwa artscape has realized that very very quickly too that we need to be very discerning and sensitive about what happens. But so what it's what's kind of happened for me is that I love to be here. I love to be here with other artists in conversation. So I really love this two weeks um, that we all spend together. So it really is more just being on this land now than even doing too much. Um, I'm quite interested in the rehabilitation of this land in the form of artworks but I'm very what I've become very sensitive to is the magic of this place and what it does for other human beings what does it do to you the landscape here the surroundings yeah I think 
<clears throat> that the silence and the the huge open space the feeling of memory here uh, I became very involved in 2016 in the idea that the Tom Bushman used to be here and so I that opened up so much for me it um, what actually happened was that it was a, it was a process of, of of acknowledging the existence of something in many years of coming here I had never had a conversation with one human being about the Tom Bushman which and I started reading and on my own realized that this was very much a place where they used to come and, and be. I felt that at the very least to acknowledge the existence of any people or culture that has now that almost no longer exists is, is the beginning of opening up a whole new narrative. Yeah, uh, for me the the Tonkwa is very much about restoring and and uh, it's 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 very much about a work in progress for me. So what is this artist in residency program Tanqua Artscape? What is it? How would you describe it? On one level, it's a work in progress because from my personal perspective, from the first to the sixth one that we are doing now, my perspective obviously changes every time I knowing more what to expect, knowing more what is going to unfold, but never knowing how it's going to unfold means that I'm it's it's a very different thing for me than it is for 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 an artist for instance who's never been in this kind of environment, who is who has perhaps never even been in a in a in a in a residency situation with people. And I don't even know, I mean, I've been to one or two other residencies, but I don't even know how we really compare that much because we very much do it our way. What is our way? Our way, that's a good question. It's our way is to not be dogmatic, not be too prescriptive, to be as loose as possible. This is actually developed I think initially we, we, we felt that the application should state a little bit more clearly what people are intending. But now we very quickly realized that it's actually the landscape that is doing the work and the facilitating. We're doing very little. We're bringing the people here. So our way is to do as little as possible to make sure that the people feel cared for and held here and to make sure that they feel safe so that they can then be their best. The last thing, Kim, if you have five words to describe the landscape and what you are doing here, what are these five words? Healing would be one possibility. Stories, silence, and wind. So will you do your own piece of art this time during the residency? Yeah, so right now <coughs> I'm very much in um, looking at what everyone else is doing and making sure that everyone even just having conversations with people, just touching everyone a little bit to see are, are they, are they, have they got a direction, are they feeling alright? So I'm not really thinking too much about myself but while I am working with the artists and while I'm having conversations about medium and what they're doing, I'm always actually getting ideas myself. So yeah, possibly I'm going to be working with some clay. So let's see, maybe we talk in a week again, yeah. looking back what came out of this. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Rebecca.